Now our Sunday spotlight. We're just days away from the start of a year-long study that could lead to a new frontier in space exploration. Two of NASA's most recognizable astronauts will embark on a groundbreaking mission. But as ABC's David Curley explains, only one will leave the ground. You get the easy part of this deal. Ah, the really easy part. And I get the fun part. Astronaut Scott Kelly's idea of fun starts this Friday, day one of 365 days in orbit, living at the International Space Station to find out how the human body is affected by long duration space flight. He showed me the cramped quarters in the Soyuz capsule that will give him his ride. You're in here for about, uh, you know, four or five hours until you get on orbit. And in orbit, a year of his life will be spent in the real version, not this model, of the space station. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of room in here. Pretty comfortable, yeah, for it. Well, space, welcome home for a space bedroom. We need to figure out how people are going to live in space for really long periods of time, especially if we want to send somebody to Mars or maybe want to send people to, maybe want to one day build a base on the moon. To better figure that out, while Scott is in space, his twin brother, former shuttle commander Mark Kelly, will stay on Earth. The brothers, perfect subjects to study, this since they share that unique genetic code. How important is it to have a twin mark on the ground as a baseline as you watch Scott for a year in space? You can look at um, in detail at the, how the genes and the proteins that are made from them change as a result of this unique environment. For scientists like NASA's Dr. Stephen Gilmore, this mission could provide a gold mine of data, the first step in ambitious plans for space. NASA will use this data to figure out if the human body can survive a trip to Mars, an 18-month round trip. No U.S. astronaut has spent longer than six months in space, and the physical strain, the radiation exposure, muscle deterioration, and psychological impact that Scott will endure is a bit unknown. It can mess up your eyes, it can mess up your heart, it can mess you up. There are risks, and you know, I'm willing to accept that for, for what we're going to learn from it. For the Kelly brothers, the potential rewards far outweigh the risks. But you could come back with permanent damage to your body. I could. You know, we all could. Anyone who's flown in space could have some permanent effects. If we don't take risks, we don't go anywhere. So risk-taking is has always been a part of the space program and always will. I mean, but in this case, yeah, I mean, there's, there's extra risk. You both have the chance of actually paving the way to Mars. That's one of the things that makes it exciting and something I'm, I'm really uh, happy to be a part of. For this week, David Curley, ABC News, Houston. Love that. Onward to Mars. And we end with some good news. The Pentagon did not release any names of service members killed in Afghanistan this week. That's all for us today. Thanks for sharing part of your Sunday with us. Check out World News tonight, and we'll see you back here next week. Have a great day.